Hi, hello. This is Dr. Prasad Pudinam with my class series on uh, Biology for Engineers. This is for uh, Computer Science and Engineering stream students. Uh, only for Computer Science and Engineering stream. That is Computer Science and Engineering, Information Science and Engineering, uh, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, Artificial Intelligence, Data Science. Uh, similar type of uh, computer science stream many are there uh, so for those uh, particular uh, syllabus is there biology for engineers like dboc 407 uh, here i am explaining a uh, few uh, the syllabus as such but uh, in the form of a question and uh, answer type so this is the uh, module one of the syllabus uh, cell basic unit of life uh, introduction structural function of cell stem cells are already covered my plus my previous class videos uh, biomolecules i am covering to introduction to biomolecule i am covering so i didn't make a question for that it's uh, just an introduction okay so uh, these are the various uh, course outcomes uh, uh, mentioned in the syllabus based on the topic which is given in the syllabus so i will be uh, identifying or highlighting the uh, suitable uh, course outcome for each question answer okay so today i'm covering uh, the topic uh, biomolecules uh, uh, the introduction and importance of biomolecules okay so biomolecules uh, traditionally uh, carbohydrates nucleic acids proteins lipids and covering okay so introduction to uh, biomolecules uh, biomolecules they are the essential molecules uh, which make up the building block of life so these uh, diverse compounds uh, they play a very crucial role in uh, the structure as well as the functioning of uh, the living organisms so among the key biomolecules they are the carbohydrates uh, nucleic acids proteins lipids uh, each one of them having uh, their own unique uh, characteristics or uh, their own unique uh, role to play in the life so the importance of uh, biomolecules like the carbohydrate and nucleic acids so carbohydrate they play a very uh, very uh, crucial role as the fuel supply or fueling the various cellular processes uh, so it supports the growth uh, and uh, which facilitate uh, a very quick energy release that is the main role of uh, uh, importance of carbohydrates nucleic acids they are actually the fundamentals for the inheritance our character our nature behavior uh, to our ancestors so that is the inheritance uh, whatever the good things as well as bad things will be uh, coming uh, uh, to the next generation that is uh, it's called as as well as the genetic diversity each person is having their own uh, uh, individual character that is uh, their own genetic uh, uh, one it is there so that is called genetic diversity and uh, and also it is used uh, nucleic acids are used uh, dna and rna are used to prepare or synthesize the proteins which are essential for the life process then comes the protein In protein actually contribute uh, to the the regulation of uh, biological processes um, forming the cellular structure and the catalysis for many biochemical reactions many uh, chemical reactions happening in our body each and every second uh, that is needed for, uh, for for our body growth as well as for uh, many other purposes so this uh, this uh, proteins uh, they actually catalyze catalyze means uh, speed up the reaction without participating they just catalyze it uh, uh, the, these reactions, so biological reactions in the uh, body. Final one that is lipids. Uh, lipids they are uh, uh, needed for the uh, to maintain the cell integrity. Integrity means the cells a uh, particular shape. Uh, to maintain that lipids are needed, they mainly become the membranes. Okay, so they provide the protective barrier and serving as a reserve in energy source. They not only act as a membrane but also in case if it needed uh, it will provide uh, the uh, lipids can be used as a as an energy source that's about uh, uh, lipids now carbohydrates a uh, little more detail if you want to study uh, carbohydrates are class of uh, organic compounds which play a very crucial role in the the biology and uh, the it's also the important uh, energy source for all the living organisms and they are composed of carbon, uh, hydrogen, and oxygen. Uh, and based on uh, the uh, structure or molecular structure and function, uh, these are classified. Uh, carbohydrates are classified. The general formula is CnH2O N. 
एच टू एक्चुअली वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इज है सो इट इज हाइड्रेट्स ऑफ कार्बन दैट विथ दैट मीनिंग दि नेम केम बट इट्स एक्चुअली नॉट हाइड्रेट्स हाइड्रेट मीन वाटर विल बी सेपरेटेड बट इट वाटर इज नॉट सेपरेटेड ओनली जनरल फॉर्म राइट इज दर एंड नेम आर सो इट कैन बी रेट नस हाइड्रेट्स ऑफ कार्बन मीन वाटर मॉलिक्यूल कनेक्टेड टू कार्बन दैट इज द मीनिंग बट एक्चुअली वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इज नॉट कनेक्टेड टू कार्बन दैट स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट दर Uh, it is having a general formula cn h2 n uh, h2o n times uh, repeated uh, and uh, if you see the structure simple carbohydrates are obeying this one but some complex carbohydrates are not strictly obeying this general uh, formula also okay now uh, we will see some of the classifications uh, carbohydrates can be classified as monosaccharides disaccharides so they are simple saccharides simple carbohydrates and polysaccharides so monosaccharides means mono single structure so example is given they are the simplest form of carbohydrates which include uh, the glucose and fructose also they are the, the, they are very easily soluble in water and serve as the primary source of energy for the body so the uh, the structural formula of glucose is given here to understand so this structures if you see uh, they are the actually glucose structures uh, long chain structure is the ring structure is the hexagonal ring structure all are same same, same thing only in different form it is represented whether it is having carbon with a double bond with oxygen or it uh, combined with a uh, bond structure with ch2oh so they are forming and breaking so they are attractive forces the between those two carbon uh, carbonyl group as well as this hydroxyl group so it forms a uh, ring structure there okay so uh, uh, this oxygen and uh, not uh, this is ch2oh okay so uh, that is about uh, glucose so glucose fructose galactose these are all some of the examples of uh, uh, monosaccharides then disaccharides uh, disaccharide means di means you know it's two 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 monosaccharides combined it form becomes uh, disaccharides uh, they are formed by the condensation of two monosaccharides which include the sucrose lactose uh, maltose they are uh, commonly found in sugar and uh, they are broken down to monosaccharides during digestion that means uh, uh, sucrose lactose maltose they are, sucrose is made up of glucose and fructose lactose it contains uh, galactose and glucose not made up of it contains uh, and maltose contains glu glu uh, glucose and glucose that means when it is broken down it will be giving this uh, respective monosaccharide so when a uh, disaccharide is sucrose when sucrose breaks down uh, it gives a glucose and fructose to the body like a galactose uh, glucose by lactose and uh, glucose and uh, glucose by maltose okay so that about uh, disaccharides then comes the polysaccharides polysaccharides uh, uh, they are they are poly means many uh, mono means single di means two poly means many many such saccharides combined many such single uh, uh, units are combined combined form so they are long chain monosaccharides which are linked together Uh, which serve as the storage uh, uh, molecules for energy such as the glycogen in animal and uh, the starch in protein uh, starch in plants not the protein plants so this is the uh, glycogen glycogen is mainly uh, the polysaccharide found in uh, animals and uh, starch okay only this structure is given no need to uh, write and draw and study this structure and all i just you need to remember that the what shape it it takes okay so the roughly a uh, image is also given uh, so these are also not only giving energy it also provide the structure structure shape and support uh, the support for the other uh, body structures and also uh, the cellulose in plants uh, just next one cellulose in plants uh, which they form the cell walls of the plants so in addition to their uh, role as the energy sources these carbohydrates they also play very important role in uh, the cellular processes uh, uh, such as the cellular signaling uh, passing the information uh, and uh, uh, recognition uh, identifying the things and in regulating the gene expressions so these are the uh, main uh, duties of uh, uh, polysaccharides or carbohydrates now comes to the nucleic acid nucleic acid mainly we say that is dna and rna nucleic acids even uh, artificial nucleic acids are also there nowadays but mainly we studied about dna and rna 
so nucleic acids are they are biopolymers uh, biological polymer they are long chain uh, molecules which we call as the polymers having a repeated uh, molecules repeated um, same molecules repeated many times we call it as polymers uh, biopolymers means they are uh, biologically available uh, biologically uh, existing therefore we call it as biopolymers which are uh, mainly uh, used for the storage and uh, transfer of the genetic information in all living organisms so there are two types as i said uh, dna and uh, rna dna means deoxyribonucleic acid rna means ribonucleic acid so dna it is the uh, is the genetic material dna is the genetic material which carries the the instructions uh, for the development uh, for functioning uh, for reproduction of all living organisms uh, it, it is a, it is actually a double strand you can see is uh, two two strands are there uh, in a helical structure as we say uh, helix structure composed of nucleotides which consist of the sugar molecules that is deoxyribose a phosphate group is there a nitrogenous base like adenine guanine cytosine thymine these are the, uh, the 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 strands which you can see okay so adenine thymine guanine cytosine and uracil in case of uh, rna okay so uh, whereas uh, ribonucleic acid it involved uh, in um, expression of the genetic information uh, which is stored in uh, dna by carrying the message from dna to the ribosome okay so whenever uh, genetic information has to be uh, carried or uh, taken away or has to be uh, duplicated uh, then uh, from dna one strand will separate uh, from dna one strand will separate uh, and it become an rna so it become a messenger rna okay so it carries that information so the information is this uh, whatever the bond different types of bond with different uh, nucleotides how they joined that is the information so when it is taken out means uh, that half only they combine with particular uh, uh, groups only uh, nucleotides only combine therefore a half it becomes a copy so that half we call it as half if it is taken from dna it becomes the messenger rna okay so uh, then it is used to build the proteins uh, based on the message whatever uh, required message given by the dna that dna message is taken as messenger rna and then it uh, produces the required protein so it can it, it act as a base uh, a structure say like this uh, fingers if i show uh, these are the different uh, structures so amino acid will come and attach accordingly and amino acid uh, becomes uh, combined to become a protein so required protein based on the based on the uh, requirement so this, this is the requirement or see my fingers like this arranged if it is arranged like this means like that uh, it will come so that that it depends uh, okay just for a uh, analogy i gave one that example uh, uh, don't laugh at me okay so that about uh, rna uh, so dna and rna schematic representation it is mentioned to you both the dna and rna they play essential role in uh, functioning of uh, so the cell organisms their structure uh, interaction with other molecules and they become the basis for many biological processes uh, such as the replication uh, transcription uh, uh, translation uh, these are the processes which is associated with the uh, dna and dna mainly now comes proteins uh, proteins are uh, they are a large complex molecules made up of chains of uh, smaller building blocks called amino acids so amino acids uh, they play uh, okay say so the proteins they play a very vital role in, uh, in forming structure they having their own function uh, regulation of the cells tissues and even uh, the organs there are 20 amino acids uh, which ca can be classify into two essential amino acids and non essential amino acids essential amino acids 9 are there non essential amino acids 11 are there so then differentiation essential amino acids they are the amino acid which are essential for our body and we need we need to take intake through food okay whereas non essential acid amino acid can be prepared by our body itself okay so that is the uh, difference between essential and non essential the two terms means this this amino acid histidine isoleucine leucine lysine methionine uh, phenylalanine uh, threonine uh, tryptophan uh, valine okay valine i want to add to my dictionary okay so valine these are all uh, it has to be there in the diet we need these amino acids 
for a different uh, form different proteins different uh, proteins of different function all proteins are not the same uh, each protein having its own uh, function so each protein is formed by different amino acids okay so in which these amino acids are also required essential amino acids are also required to prepare some required protein synthesis okay so this should need to be supplied through food uh, food items it should go to the body non essential amino acids are mentioned here that is alanine arginine aspartic aspartic acid cysteine glutamic acid glutamine glycine proline serine tryptophan tyrosine these are the uh, amino acid which are non essential means it can be prepared our body itself whenever required it will be to be synthesized then we go to lipids lipids uh, you can say it forms the membrane structure so all the cell uh, skin whatever may be the membranes the cover that is uh, lipid molecule only so yes, yes, a lipid molecule is represented here like this okay so a head as well as a non polar uh, uh, hydrophobic group uh, means this uh, blue colored head represents a set of uh, uh, molecules which are I will show you in the next one. Okay, so the head. This is represents the head part, and this represents the tail part. So head part and tail part. So head part represents some uh, molecules which can uh, have interaction with the water molecules. They can interact with the water molecules. They can form hydrogen bond with the water molecules. Whereas the long chain only carbon hydrogen is there. It cannot form any interaction with the water molecules. Therefore, that two terms comes. Uh, it is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. Or polar means it 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 has got affinity with the water, and uh, hydrophobic group means it cannot form any affinity with the water molecule. Uh, why the water is important? Because our body is mainly 70% it is water only. So uh, based on that water molecule only, the protein, the lipids, everything will rearrange or they do the function. Okay, so the different forms of uh, lipids are mentioned here. A single lipid structure. Uh, general representation given here then a bilayer formed because these are uh, non polar they will uh, come together the polar sides uh, the head uh, it will come together and form structure like this so it, then it becomes a membrane uh, when, when it combined it becomes a, a layer structure or even it can form a spherical shape uh, ball type structure okay so where is a ball okay where i am okay okay it can even form a ball type structure we call it as micelli okay there the inner part it is uh, non polar phase all the carbon hydrogen part only will be there the outer surface will be having affinity with the water molecules so uh, micelli structure also it can form okay uh, okay so i didn't explain about it. so lipids are the group of organic um, compounds which include the fat uh, oil waxes and some hormones okay so that's about the uh, lipids okay so thank you uh, just uh, basics of uh, some of the molecule biomolecule we are using because uh, this uh, function as well as properties of biomolecule is there in your syllabus therefore before we go to the function of biomolecule we should know at least what it is the the structure or the uh, how it look uh, how we can differentiate by seeing the structure and all no need to um, by heart the the Images and all. I will not uh, force you to do. If your teacher tell you to uh, draw it, you draw it. Otherwise, I will not tell. Okay. So thank you for watching my videos. Uh, please do subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, and uh, that is the only support I am expecting from you. All these class videos and um, the PPT, the uh, whatever PPT I have prepared, the PDF form it is will be available in the description box. So. Uh, please go there and download that one and watch my videos and forward my videos to others uh, uh, share my videos and that once again i thank you and have a nice